Hello ocean people, how is everyone doing today? Please um, ignore all the back mess. I actually just decided to do this very spontaneous video because I just read a study that I think is really cool and I think you guys will think so as well. Last week a paper or study came out in the Proceedings of the Royal Society B scientific journal about a talking orca. I thought it was so cool that I just wanted to share this with you. So this is just gonna be a very short video of me explaining to you this study and just talking orcas. So it is known that orcas from different pods have some kind of a different language and many scientists do believe that orcas and other marine mammals with relatively high cognitive capabilities have some kind of a, a, a different cultures in, between different groups. And so there's a lot of ongoing studies uh, trying to figure out into which depth are these cognitive ca capabilities actually going? Are they really, really intelligent for what at least we consider intelligent? Um, to a point in this case that they could even understand us or imitate us. Basically they studied this 14 year old orca called Wiki from the Marine Land Aquarium in um, Antibes, France and they tried to see how well this orca could imitate human words. So they kind of had this initial phase where they just taught her a sign that meant repeat, then they would teach her uh, noises or sounds that she was already familiar with and they kind of made her repeat these sounds to under to, for her to understand what repeating means. And then they gave her an array of sounds and words that were completely different from all the ones she was taught before and they tried to make her learn these sounds. And holy this, it's kind of spooky so um, I'm not sure I can show you but the sound she makes of course they're not exactly the words because the way they print they make sounds is also not the same way that we make sounds so the whole apparatus that we use to talk and to make sounds is different from the ones they use so it is difficult for them as it is for us to make their sounds for them it's also difficult to make our sounds but it is impressive how you can really tell by listening to her imitating the person how it actually sounds like she's imitating the person and that she is making these words. Um, because I'm not sure if I can show you this, uh, I will put down in the description box below the paper where they explained the study and also an article from The Guardian that I found was really funny where they also show the sounds that the whale made after the person told her to. It brings us one step closer into understanding how intelligent and how smart these animals actually are. We have to keep in mind that this doesn't mean that they are communicating with us. It might just be uh, also a kind of a, a repeating for a reward kind of situation. You know, like dogs. Dogs sit because they know that if they do what they are told that then they will get something to eat. That she might be repeating doesn't mean necessarily she's understanding what she's actually doing. We have to keep in mind that this orca was maintained in captivity for a long time. She has been in, for a long time in contact with humans. It would be a, really interesting to be able to study this kind of behaviors more on the, uh, in nature, so in, in pods that live in the ocean and to kind of understand the dynamics between groups. But the more we look at these animals, um, the more we start understanding how complex their social interactions actually are. We know they have personalities, in this case, organalities. <laughs> we do know they have, they, they do not interact the same way with all the other members of the group. So there is some social complexity into how they interact with each other and uh, also in how they communicate with each other. And I just think this is super cool. What do you think would happen if like orcas had hands? You know, because um, it's for us, it's, it's easy to build stuff, it's easy to create because we have hands. Orcas don't have hands. So, I mean, what would happen if they did? Could they create stuff as well? Could they do art? Wouldn't that be boring if we are the only ones that kind of have uh, like cool abilities? I, I think that would just be really boring. What do you guys think? I found this study really interesting. That's also why I wanted to share with you. I also know a lot of you are very interested in marine mammals and it's very, it, I, I completely understand because they are fascinating and mysterious animals. And this for me only increases my fascination for them because it just shows that there is so much unexplored into intelligence outside of 
human intelligence. I, I, I don't know, I just, I just thought this was really cool and I wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to know what you think about it. I will link it down below. And also in this article from the Guardian, Guardian, check it out. It's really fun um, to hear and the article is really nicely written and it's fun to read. And also the, the study itself is really interesting. Yeah, so this was it for today. I just really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next video.